My name is Steve Patterson. I'm a former resident of the Fifth, uh, fifth Ward, actually, in the early 90s. And my question to the two older witnesses, uh, one, I'm glad that you've done plans in both neighborhoods. Um, but unfortunately, neither one of those plans has any teeth to them. Uh, the zoning has not been changed as I know the Fifth Ward plan that was adopted in 2002 called for zoning changes to actually give the plan some teeth of law. Right now, the Board of Adjustment and the Planning Commission actually uh, ignore the plans when they're making decisions about variances and things. Um, so my question is, when do you plan to actually introduce legislation to change the zoning? Actually, it's been lots of zoning changes. You don't go in and change the zoning of the whole ward. Because my plan for the fifth ward that we have in place, it is not so specific. One thing about a plan, you have to leave some flexibility. So there's flexibility where it's not so specific where you come and say, on this block right here in the 1500 block of Heber, it's got to have homes and they've got to look like this. So you have to leave some flexibility. And at the Board of Aldermen, we always have the power to change zoning. So what has happened is, as you see the development boards and different things that have happened, most of those had to have some type of zoning changes, street changes, name changes, just you go down the list of changes. Also, that's the only thing that makes most of the developers come and talk to us. If we did everything that it took for the development, they wouldn't have any reason to come and talk to us. Once we talk about a development, once they have shown us what they do, once they've talked about minority participation, once they've talked about inclusion, once they've talked about jobs, and all the other things that I make sure I'm committed to asking them, and it seems like it's something that would be good for us and falls within the realm of the plan, and then we talk about doing the things that they need. But you'd be shocked at how many people go out here and spend money on doing things and then call us and say, oh, I'm gonna put a such and such at this address. And they only called because they didn't have the zoning and zoning said you need a support letter from the older person. So if we went out here and tried to guess what would go on every block and zoned it now, they wouldn't have to come to us. Therefore, we would not be able to even know what they're doing before they're doing, which not all of it has been good for us. So actually, that is another way to get them to come and talk to us, come to the community meetings and present to us. So we don't want to go and just do a flat blanket of zoning where people are tax abatement or a number of other things we could go out there and do tomorrow. We wait until we see the project and make sure that it's what we want. Then we do the things that are specific that's required for that very project and that property to happen. 